OpenSea is the largest NFT marketplace. Everybody know that. But what most people don't know is that there are many opportunities to build integrations with OpenSea and leverage their huge user base for your own NFT project. In this video, I will show you the main integration possible with OpenSea. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. If you want to build integrations on OpenSea, first you need to understand how it works. The main features of OpenSea is to buy and sell NFTs. You have to distinguish the primary and secondary market. The primary market is when an NFT creator decides to sell his or her NFT for the first time. There are different ways to do this sale and the most popular is to do an eBay style auction where the highest bidder wins the auction after a certain time provided a certain price was reached. The secondary market is everything that comes after that. Once an NFT creator sold his or her NFT for the first time, the buyer can himself or herself resell the NFT as well as the next buyers. Beside this, there is an interesting royalties feature where a portion of each sale is given to the NFT creator, which creates a stream of passive income after the primary market. So that's it for the main features of OpenSea. Next, I'm going to explain how it works under the hood on a technical level. When users visit the OpenSea website, they see the front end. This is a bunch of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Nothing special here. But beside the front end, there are many other components. When you place a buy or sell order on OpenSea, you don't need to pay any gas. That's because there is no transaction with the blockchain at this time. The order is just a signed message that contains the different parameters of the order and the signature. The signed message is created with your Ethereum wallet, which means this is related to your address and this is verifiable by a smart contract. This order is stored in a centralized database managed by OpenSea. All the other orders of traders accumulate in this database and when there is a match between a buy and a sell order, the two orders are matched and sent to a smart contract on Ethereum to execute the trade. This is not very well documented in the documentation of OpenSea, but the set of smart contracts that is used by OpenSea is called the Weaver Protocol. The smart contract that executes the trades is the exchange contract. This smart contract verifies that the signatures of the orders are correct. So even though the orders are first sent to a centralized database, it's not possible for OpenSea to alter the order in any ways. Otherwise, the signature will not check out in the exchange smart contract and the trade will not go through. The only thing that OpenSea can do is discard your order and not store it in the database. Another important smart contract is the proxy registry. On OpenSea, every user has a proxy smart contract. Every item traded on OpenSea is owned by the proxy smart contract of each user. These proxy smart contracts are controllable by their owner and also by the exchange smart contract of OpenSea. This way, users don't have to approve OpenSea to trade each NFT they own. Users just have to pay gas once to deploy the proxy contract and after they can sell any NFTs on OpenSea as long as the NFT is owned by the proxy contract. It might sound scary that the exchange contract controls the proxy of each user, but as long as the code of the exchange has no bug, it's fine. The exchange can only move funds if you have signed an order to do so. And also at any time, you can move your NFTs outside of the proxy smart contract to your own wallet. And finally, there is the DAO contract used for the governance of the protocol. A very important part of this DAO is that it approves which smart contracts are allowed to control the proxy contract of each user. Currently, only the exchange contract of OpenSea is able to do so. One last thing. OpenSea is currently deployed on Ethereum, Polygon, and the Clayton blockchain. Next, we are going to talk of how we can build integrations with OpenSea. There are many different integrations possible with OpenSea. The big advantage for you is to tap the huge user base of OpenSea. The most simple type of integration is to embed a single NFT into your website. You will have a box showing the image of the NFT, the current price, and the buy button. You can also set up a referrer address, which allow you to get a commission for each sale that you refer to OpenSea. Technically, to do this, you just have to go to the page of an NFT on OpenSea, click the share button, embed asset, and you will see some code to add to your website. If you are not sure how to integrate the code, you can check out this GitHub repo. 
Another possible integration is the white label marketplace integration. This allows you to run your own OpenSea marketplace on your own domain. This can be very interesting if you have an audience very interested in a specific kind of NFT and you want to leverage this. You can also add value by customizing the appearance of the marketplace to better fit the specific attributes of your NFTs. OpenSea does show the attributes of NFTs, but because of the huge diversity of NFTs they have, they cannot customize the experience for each kind of NFT. And that's when your website can really add value. When you use a white label marketplace, even though you can customize your appearance, when a user buys or sells an NFT, it will happen on the order book of OpenSea. You can also set an affiliate fee, which allow you to earn money for the trades that you refer to OpenSea. Technically, the integration is easy because you just have to put an iframe in your app. And there is a GitHub repo with an example for a React application. Another integration is to create a storefront for your NFT collection on the website of OpenSea itself. This will allow you to sell your NFTs on OpenSea. For this, you will need to deploy the smart contract of your NFT. OpenSea supports both ERC721 and ERC1155, but optionally, you can also do a small modification to the standard implementation of one of the functions to improve the user experience for users. Without getting into the details, it will allow OpenSea users to fully leverage the proxy system of OpenSea to trade your NFT. And you will find details of this in the documentation of OpenSea. Before you deploy your contract, you will also need to hard code the URL of your metadata API. That's an API that you need to deploy and from where you will serve the metadata of your NFT. The reason why we separate this part from the actual NFT in the blockchain is to save gas. There are two possible JSON schema to follow, either the standard metadata schema of the NFT standard or the schema of engine another NFT marketplace. So you need to create this metadata API with all the JSON files, with all the JSON data and all the images. And after that, you will be able to see your NFT in OpenSea. It will be indexed automatically. But if you want to sell your NFTs, there are two more steps. First, you need to create an NFT collection. So you go to this URL and you just follow the instructions. And finally, you need to create an auction where you specify the different parameters like the durations, the start price, etc. We'll continue with the more advanced kind of integration you can do, which is to use the OpenSea SDK. The OpenSea SDK is a JavaScript library to interact with OpenSea. You can use it either on the backend or in the frontend application. You can do pretty much all the actions that are available to users in the frontend of OpenSea. You can read NFT data, buy or sell NFTs. Alternatively, you can also directly use the API of OpenSea, which has a nice documentation. Now you know what are the different integrations possible with OpenSea, but where do you start? The most simple is to embed a single NFT in your website. Next, you can create a storefront for your NFT collection. The only difficult part is to deploy your NFT and to set up the metadata server. You can create your own white label OpenSea. This will require more work as you will have to do more custom coding. And finally, the ultimate solution is to use the OpenSea SDK or even directly the OpenSea API. This allows for more custom integration, but it's also the most difficult. If you want to keep learning about NFT programming, you can check out this video where we will build a full NFT app. I will see you there.